imagine your self imagine you are Jesus and you want to show people in a dramatic way that you want to be united with them at the same time you want to give people an opportunity a great chance to show that they also want to be united with you now the question is how will you show them that you want to be united with them and how would you allow them also to show that they want to be united with you we find the answer in today's gospel reading in the Sunday's gospel reading Jesus gives himself to us in the form of food the reason Jesus does this is that food and the person who eats it become one thus by giving himself to us as a food Jesus shows his desire pinapakita ng Panginoon na kanyang ang kanyang minimiti ang kanyang gusto the, the, the deepest desire to become one with us at the same time he gives us a way an opportunity to show our desire to become one with him how by receiving him in our heart and body in the form of food Jesus clearly says in the gospel for my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him we celebrate today the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ the Corpus Christi and in an infinitely profound sense this solemnity is about food and drink the solemnity actually celebrates the Eucharist the feast of the Corpus Christi celebrates the love of Jesus that love who gives us his body to eat and his blood to drink and Jesus declares I am the living bread that came down from heaven whoever eats this bread and will live forever and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world do we realize sisters and brothers do we realize what a fantastic claim Jesus is making here for us Catholics the living bread that is Jesus is memorialized in the Eucharist Jesus becomes fully present to us in the bread and wine in the Eucharist God not only became flesh for us no? years ago in a country far away God also becomes food and drink for us now at this very moment of the Eucharistic celebration sa bawat pagdiriwang natin ng Eucharistia kasama natin ng Diyos tinatanggap natin ng Diyos ang kanyang buhay ang Panginoon ng kanyang buhay na katawan God does not hold back 
God gives all, hindi lang bahagi ng, ng kanyang sarili ang inialay sa atin. He gives all. That is the mystery of the Incarnation. As Henry Nguyen, a very famous spiritual writer, says about this matter, he says, and I quote, Incarnation and Eucharist are the two expressions of the immense self-giving love of God. The word that best expre expresses this mystery of God's total self-giving love is communion. Communion. It contains the truth that in and through Jesus, God wants not only to teach us, God not only wants not only to instruct us or inspire us, but to become one with us. As Henry Nguyen puts it, God desires, God desires to be fully united with us so that all of God and all of us can be bound together in a lasting love. However, sisters and brothers, we must emphasize that the Eucharist is not just something we receive. The Eucharist is not just something we benefit from. The Eucharist must become our way of life, must become a way of life for us. Hindi lang po yung basta nakatanggap tayo ng banal na Eucharistia, ng buhay na katawan ni Jesus, tapos na. Back to our normal life, usual way of living. Hindi. Just as Jesus gives His body and blood to us, we must also give ourselves to others. We too must become food and drink for our brothers and sisters. Just like Jesus, we must not hold back. We must give all. St. Augustine says that the Eucharist is a different kind of food because when we eat the Eucharistic food, we don't digest the body of Christ. We don't transform the body of Christ to become like us. Rather, we are the ones transformed. We are the ones transformed. We become the body of Christ. We become the Eucharistic person. At the end of the Mass, kung matatandaan ninyo, we are sent forth. Our, we are commissioned to live out the Eucharist. Sinasabi ng pari, the Mass has been offered or the Mass is ended. Go and share the love of Christ. Go and proclaim the Kingdom. Go and live out your Christian life. We are somehow being told, you have celebrated the Eucharist. Go and be Eucharist yourselves. Go and be Christ to one another.